Casey's mod is an official mod released by the developer for Inscription. It takes the first act of the game and turns it into a repeatable roguelike deck builder, card battler, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is quite good. Still needs a little bit more fleshing out, but compared to what I played when it was first released in beta, uh, it's a massive improvement. So the way you get there is, you'll see right here, this right here, drop it in this, and then you will switch over to the new menu. Click on new here and it gets you into the where you select challenges. Challenges is, is just basically like, do you want to have no hook? Uh, do you want to have a, a smaller backpack? Um, do you, you, you know, so what does this house cost more plus five challenge points? Uh, let's what do we see. Uh, you may not re-roll card choices, I'll take that one. So this this basically increases your uh, challenge points to 5-5. Five, five. Now, there are other things here that you can unlock. I have gotten really close to beating this thing, uh, but I haven't yet. <laughs> I've only tried a few times, on, or well, several times on stream, uh, which I think those are all logged in here somewhere in my stats. <laughs> Embarrassing stats. Um, but it is overall a fairly well-rounded uh, deck builder, but just not a whole lot of backbone, right? There's not a whole lot of... of uh, of, of account wide progression outside of unlocking different challenges. Um, the aesthetic is what you would expect if you'd played Inscription or seen inscri Inscription at all. Uh, I never covered Inscription because it was just not a game for me after I beat after I beat it, mind you. <laughs> I beat the game on stream and I was just like, I can't, no, it's too much. <laughs> uh, but this is a, is a game that I could play, put some good time into if there was more account-wide things. Uh, so real quick, let's go over this. We have a uh, Stoat, Bullfrog, Wolf, Rabbit Pelt, Rabbit Pelt. So Rabbit Pelt is basically just, those are just currency that you could use at uh, specific shops. So we're going to go here, uh, where we could turn in, here he is, the, the trap, are your pelts clean? And we could trade those pelts for our, uh, for a couple of cards that, and this will compose our starting deck. The other cards are static. You're always going to get those cards. Uh, unless perhaps maybe when you unlock a specific challenge, maybe it'll give you a different starting deck or something. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go with, uh, since we're just going to do probably one run today, uh, I'm going to go with a, hmm. So go to Sparrow, and then we're gonna go with a Turkey Vulture. I wanna go like all flying. Let's do it with bones. Four bones for a flight. There we go. Let's do that. Let's try to make it a little even. Um, a little balance, I should say. A couple different options in terms of where to go. Let's go ahead and take a look at these are all really good options too, and it sucks that I have to choose between them, but I think this is just the way the, the run starts. Uh I see Sparrow Bat. I wonder if we could take the Let's do this. Let's grab the flight from the sparrow. No, no, let's not do that. <laughs> let's go here and get this. I was gonna combine cards over here, but I was like, nah. So the wood carver, you get a a little statuette that uh, totem you piece together. So this is basically uh, it, it makes your this particular sigil will burn into your cards, and it'll, it means that uh, you will uh, uh, they'll go underwater. Uh, in between turns, making them very, very difficult to deal with. Uh, and here's a bird head. So actually, you know, this and this would be the ultimate combination right now because I already have two flying objects. Well, no, never mind. It's, one of them's a, a bat, which doesn't count as a uh, as a bird. Uh, let's go with this because that is deadly. That's a really good one. And whatever we slap onto that is going to make that that particular uh, genus or species um, very, very, very strong. And there's it breaks them up to like reptiles, uh, like like wolf beasts or something. Um, there's like birds, uh, or I don't say birds, whatever, aviaries, um, etc. See a stump, got a couple stumps on the board. I got a bee coming. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and throw down. Do I have, let me see. So if you haven't played, I'm gonna treat this as if you guys have never even played Description. I'm gonna do my best to kind of explain this stuff as we go along here. So the way the game plays is you have, you have to basically generate a currency in order to play your cards that you want, that, the, the cards that will do damage essentially, right? So this, this squirrel, can sit there and take one hit. Sure, it could take one hit, but the point of it is to sacrifice for another uh, another uh, beast to put on the board. That was the wrong thing I wanted to do, but I still got a second before it gets here. So now the stoat's there and it costs one blood. So we're gonna go ahead and pass to our competitor here. B's gonna get one hit. It puts the balance back at the middle there. I'm gonna go and drop another one of these and then I can put this down. I could put the sparrow down and also notice that over here in the corner I have these two 
two chips that have already accumulated, right? Little casino chips with bones on them. Uh, I just got one. I get I get them from killing off basically anything. When anything dies, I get one. On my side, that is. Um, let me see. Do I have anything else I could do? Nope, pretty much not. So go ahead and let it go. Uh, so that's the currency. That's the second currency you could spend in the game in terms of like playing cards, right? One is blood. Two is going to be bones. So what I'll do is I'm going to throw down... Uh, let me see. Let's go and take this. Maybe we get something. Yeah, here we go. A wolf. A three and a two. Let's see, he's going to take them out in a second. I think what I'll do is I'm going to hold. I could take another hit. One, one, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. And then I'll put the wolf down to finish it off, I think. So we got to explain the way the damage works, right? You see this meter going back and forth. You could have, you could essentially sit here, not to say forever because you do run out of cards, but you could sit here until both of you guys are out of cards. Um, let's go and put this down. Okay, and then we're gonna put the wolf down. We'll sacrifice. Uh, they're not attacking each other because no, one of them doesn't have the uh, shield, so that's my fault. I'll explain those in a second too. I'll explain those even though clearly I don't know how the fuck they work. Uh, let's go and sacrifice you. You, good. Now we do good damage, good damage, four damage all the way across. Uh, let's take a look at this board. How do I? How do I? Let me see. Here we go. So the way this works is, anytime you lose uh, or you take a hit, you put a gold tooth basically in there, right? So, or a gold uh, nugget, um, and then this will move in either direction. So it goes in, uh, I think like five steps to the left, five steps to the right. Uh, if you, or it's not five steps, these ends don't count, I don't think. Um, so it's more like maybe like nine steps or something. Um, but anyways, so you can, you know, take, take a hit, give some more damage, take some more, give some more, and it goes back and forth and back and forth. So it's a lot, it's a lot of like, tug of war here. Uh, over here, the items and shit, but we're not going to talk about that just yet. I have four of these now. I'm going to throw down the bat. Bam! Bat's in. Uh, lots of damage coming in. Let's do it. Bam, bam, bam. That should probably take him out. Oh, no, never mind, never mind. But he has, nothing, he has nothing else to play, though, so... Let's go and take this. Just go ahead and do that. That does it right there. Oh, yeah, the last one is the kill one. That's right. So we'll move on to the next chunk here. This is... This is a story thing, I think? Oh, that's right. I like me a gamble. Pick a boulder. Yeah. All right, so... I don't know if you can tell these apart. They all look exactly the same. So we're just going to go strike one. and looking for... Gold. Yeah. And that's it. You take the gold. The golden pelts basically allows you to buy more items or higher cost items at the trader. Oh, over here we could get the second half of our totem. I mean, other things are great too, but... And you'll learn what each of these uh, um, markers on the map mean. So the backpack, for example, will refill your items if you run out. So you can't, if you see a, a backpack coming up, you could probably spend some of these, which I probably should have done. Uh, <laughs> let's see, we got beasts and bugs. Or, oh, what is this one? Uh, when a card bearing the is played, a dam is created in each empty adjacent space. Oh, okay, okay, no, 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 no. Let's go ahead and take a look at our cards again. Uh, birds, beasts, bullfrog. Yeah, I don't really have a whole lot that supports either of these things. I mean, the wolf, you know, I'll be able to get the wolf to go underwater. Oh, you know, it's pretty good, let's take that. The wolf can uh, go underwater, <laughs> I guess. Uh, without another word, the woodcarver was gone. The characters that you meet here, that you play against, these are all characters that exist in single player. Uh, I do recommend playing single player if you're gonna buy this game to play this, uh, just to give you a little bit more um, introduction to like, in terms of like what the space, what, where you're at, and why you're playing against these weird creepy eyes over here. Uh, and then of course, the, the usage of the items and also where they come from within the game space. Let me see, put a squirrel down and put a sparrow down, a bullfrog. What does the guy got coming? Let me see, a ringworm, okay? And then an ant. Okay, so we're gonna go and put that there. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go ahead and smash this, just so you can see. Take that, put that there, just gives us an emergency. Just a quick emergency one. And then we're gonna go and put down two things. You, and then this is actually gonna set us up for that wolf. That wolf is two, remember. Two blood cost. Tick, tick. Couple of those move in. We got a skink coming. Skinks can separate from their tails. Uh, just like they do in real life, I guess. <laughs> oh, Golden Pelt. You can play these cards, and you can also lose these cards, so I recommend against it. Kabram. Come on, Stoat. Hmm, let's get a bullfrog out. Take care of that. Good. Keep that thing on that side. Okay, let's see. Does it get a wolf? No, I got a bat, which is great because, I mean, like, if it was a blood thing, I would have to sacrifice two cards, right? But now I have a bunch of bones built up because of poor decisions, and we could put this right here. 
So he's gonna smash over. Not quite there, but I think this next hit will probably do the trick. Unless I got a wolf, in which case we could put it in there. Yeah, we'll put it right there. And then it's gonna just kill him. <laughs> we finally get to play it. Now that extra nugget you just saw fall into that cup, that is a currency. The excess, the overkill that you can do to an enemy, that is a currency. You want to pick that up. Uh, we do have a backpack here to get some more items. And then up ahead we have, uh, I think this is like, mm, let me see. Oh, this is tough. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. It's basically two, like free card no matter which way we go. And then items. We spent some items. Let's go this way. We get a refill. Okay, so let's pick something, pick something. We want to have bones or we want to have one blood or three blood. Three blood could be a pretty massive card. Let's see what that is. It's a great white. Already has a submerge capability, so... Not really... I mean, that's probably a card that I'll put in the campfire. There's a campfire where you could throw things in, you could gamble. In terms of, like, every time you leave it in there, you could potentially lose the card for an upgrade, right? It's just chance. Uh, Black Goat. Oh, look at that. It's a free great white. <laughs> Let's just take that. Perfect. Uh, we have a campfire coming up. I'll definitely steer my way towards the campfire if we can. Here we go. This is, uh, that's right. That's what this is. The enemy has its own totem. So this totem is all insects can move every turn. Let me see. There's insects. It's gonna basically, it's, I think it's gonna go down and move or something like that. And then they switch, they switch directions once they hit a wall. Kind of a pain in the ass to deal with because you don't know exactly where they're going to go sometimes. So put these down. A great white would be awesome here though. I think I'll basically just finish the game for us. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There we go. Put down a sparrow. Put it over here. Get some good hits. The skunk reduces the uh, with that middle sigil there. You click on it. Right click on any of these sigils and it tells you about it, which is super awesome. Creature opposing a card bearing the sigil loses one power. And this one over here is blocking uh, air. That's it. Hmm. Well, let's see if we go for a great white, huh? A bat. Well, close. Close to a bat, but not quite there. I'm not going to play as golden pelt. It ain't happening. Now I'm going to have... Oof. Ooh, now I'm, now I'm in a losing fight here. Stoat. Mm, you know what? Just replace... There you go. I mean, a skunk has no attack power, so it's not going to do anything. Oh, here comes his buddy over there. Ah, the wolf, finally. Oh, wait, no, we wanted the great white, huh? Yeah, it's the great white. Hmm. We got four of those. We put this guy down. What do we have coming here? Worker, ant, skunk. Let's put this over here. Oops. Uh, let's put this over here to the right. Just so we can have its own space to work with, right? And then, um, we're not going to put the wolf down yet. I think... I have four coming. I have two. I could. There it is. Yeah, it's the last card, so of course. I can see it. Oh my god! Amazing! A uh, great. I was just about to smash my black my black uh, goat. So they'll put out a um, and you could see I could decide. I could I could break that, I could put this down, and I could do insane damage to the guy. And if I time it right, I could actually get a ton of overkill and get a bunch of gold nuggets. But I call this bluff. <laughs> Basically. Let's see. Uh, totem over there. Oh, we got some card mergers over here. Let's do that. That'll be fun. Random card. Choose. Choose or choose. Let me see. I already have one of these and one of these. That's what it's indicating there with the uh, the mushroom. I'll go take the ringworm. Switch it up a little bit. Let's see. Ooh. Nah, let's combine some cards. We do have a whole bunch of cards here, and some of them will could greatly benefit from... Like, for example, the Great White. Um... It's submerged capability would actually benefit something else probably. Because the cost is just not quite this is not quite doing it for me. <laughs> the cost is a bit too much. Um so we can make it so let me see. We can make it so well the wolf, we already have the uh submerge ability. We could basically turn the sparrow into a really cheap kingfisher. Uh, kingfishers are very deadly because they could submerge and fly. So they're very, very difficult to deal with. Let me see. Uh, yeah, make it a budget budget one. Yeah, there you go. Keep our costs low. It's just like in uh, Hearthstone, where you have like minion decks or something, right? I don't remember what they called them, but essentially it was like all one to two cost mana cost cards, so you could just flood the board and just overwhelm them with sheer numbers. And 
I would like to do that. Even though it's only four, I'd like to at least keep those four slots full. So, I want to sacrifice another card. Let's get this bullfrog out and let's just, let's just see. I don't know if I'm going to swap it for anything. Hmm. You know what? That ringworm. Because the ringworm would also get... No, 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 no. Never mind, never mind. I had to put it on something that, yeah, like this, basically. Which, again, turns this into another kingfisher. Uh, oh, no, never mind. This is a fly and block flight. It's not worth it to give it to anything. Do I have to do it? I wonder. Can I just skip? Oh, I have to do it then, huh? Hmm. <gasps> I should have pre-planned. Let's see the bat. Let me just visualize this here. What do I want to make fly? It has the four bone cost. Again, I did want to have that diversity so I could use bones, but let's just go and toss it out for this just to get past this part. Something with a little more health. They could just fly. I don't know. <laughs> something, <laughs> something that might, might not work. I don't know. Okay, so this is a boss. This is a, a mid boss, basically, or a, a level boss, biome boss, world boss. What you mistook for, uh, for a misshapen boulder appeared to be a hulking man. You attempted to sneak past him, but your foot made contact with the metal bucket. Oh, bring fish. Love that. Boom, boom. Doom, doom. Kingfisher, there it is. Yeah, so Kingfisher can submerge itself and fly. And this guy has got tons of them. Smoke just gives us four bones. We just throw it down. It takes a hit. Four bones. Boom, boom, boom. Too bad we got rid of the one thing that we have bones on. Yeah. Big smart, big smart. Okay, here we go. That's what we're going to do. Bullfrog. Pow. Good to be in check this out. But we will put that on something else. That's all we got for right now. Another Kingfisher in... So he's gonna try to take that. That's what the hook is. His ability is that he's able to take things. So what we'll do is we'll put down. Um, you see the stove. I don't have a use for this anyway, so it's perfect. And he'll take that instead. Good block. Good block. Okay. So let's see. Do I have any of that flying? Yeah, a sparrow, a wolf. Hmm. We want to get past this. Let's do this now. Oh yeah, we gotta put this down. Okay, put the black goat down. And now we gotta sacrifice it for three. So we'll put the wolf down. It's basically making it invincible, essentially. And then we'll come back around for the rest. So big hits right there. Take that thing out. Keep the board clean. Keep the board clean. We can always throw down things as distractions. Like that. Now, if I put down something here, will it just pull it? It'll pull it out, and then we'll see. One, two, one, two. Yeah, I'm not going to give him anything else. I'll have to squirrel. But I wonder if it'll pull. We'll see in a second. If it pulls it off the board. He takes it, and then... Oh, yeah, look at that. Knocks it right off the board. How funny. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a win anyways, because... Well, it's it's one... Oh, shit. That's right. Hold on a second. No, we got to wait. Uh, he's going to... Okay, never mind. He's going to do a, uh, a second phase move here in a second. And each, bo each boss you face has like a different type of mid-phase kind of change. So it says here, it says go fish. And he put down a couple of buckets to block us from doing any attacks. So put this down. Let's see what happens. And there it is. The Great White. Thankfully... This is just going to be a pure battle of DPS because of that, because of my wolf being submerged. Let me see, a golden pelt. Man, fuck you. That's the worst thing I could possibly got right now. Um, let me see. I wonder if I... Oh, can I not use this here, I wonder? Use you. Okay, yeah. There's nothing that can be hooked. Oh, okay. Well, it won't let me grab something of his and pull it back and bring my card back like he could do for mine. That sounds like cheating. Okay, so there are five hits right there. Whoa, so close, but he's going to get five hits on me. Now he's got six. Well, actually, no. Oh, he will in a second because he's going to bust that up, I think. Okay, yeah, nope. Let's go get one of these out. Oh, we should save that. That's fine. If he's going to hook now, I think, he's going to hook this. I'm still upping him by one, by one deeps. I just gotta put something down that could do anything. 
Alright. That should be enough. There it is. Jeez. <laughs> Reignite. And he gives you back my life. He takes one of my lives just for fun or whatever, and then um then he gives it back, so that's fine. Basically handicaps me. Alright, so we got some cards here. Boom, boom, boom. And then, oh, let's see, Mantis God. And these get pretty creative in terms of what they could do. This one can move, and anything it hits will die. <laughs> will die. And then the Mole Man. Mole Man's pretty dope also. He basically just runs around blocking shit, and he's very cheap. Uh, and the Mantis. I mean, that's, once you get this thing buffed, I mean, it's just it's pure deeps. Um, uh, none of these really support what I currently have. So I'll just get the Mantis God. Just get some, uh, some spread fire, I guess. All right, and now we're moving on to the next section, the next biome. This is a moment. He lays everything out. There are a lot of secrets in this game. There's a lot of really weird shit in this game, single player and even in multiplayer too. Um, I, I encourage you to explore more. I'm not showing the room that you're in. I'm not showing a lot of this stuff because this is the core game loop here. And you need to discover the rest of the shit for yourself. <laughs> Let's see, Alpha. Alpha's great because you throw it down, it's gonna buff things next to it. Worker ants. Let's go grab the Alpha. Finally, another wolf thing. Let me see. Backpack, get more items, get another totem thing, or I forgot what that was. We'll see what that is. No campfires, huh? Hmm. Oh, hmm. Okay, yeah, let's get rid of the ringworm. This is perfect. It's gonna give us a token for a bone. Basically, just means we start off with a bone, which is fine because we have the uh, that coyote or whatever it is that buffs its neighbors. This guy's got a wolf buff for a stinky poop. All right, so everything adjacent to it is going to lose one damage. Look at that underwater wolf. What's up? What's up? It's going to be red. And we got our one bone right there. All right, so what does he got coming here? We got a wolf cub coming. It's going to evolve. This is what that right there is. The fledgling is going to evolve soon. Every card has an evolve, I feel like. I'm fairly certain every card has an evolve. Let me see. Let's get this out. Boom. Um, stoat. Flying stoats. Let's get the stoat out. We're gonna working on this for now. It's gonna take it a minute to get through that fur. <laughs> to chop through that fur. Uh, let's see you. And then we'll just go ahead and throw it out. If it dies, I get a bone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, that's a lot of damage coming in. Like a fuck ton of damage. 4F4. Four four. You can submerge, so you can do this. Oh, we're doing... Oh, 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 hmm. Actually... That damn stinky poop, boy, that's gonna hurt a lot. He's not gonna do any damage. Let me think. Time to use the hook. There we go. And then what I'll do is I'll kill this squirrel. Actually, he'll click kill that squirrel. Give me another bone. You got a hella kill that squirrel. Damn, he's got four damage. We got a sparrow. Okay. Let's get our alpha out there. Buff our boys. Come on. Six damage coming away. Does that kill me? Whoa, that's really close. Let's get that sparrow out. Return a favor or two. He's got a sneaky poop. <laughs> we can't. We could take the damage, but we can't give it. Oh, shit. If I sacrifice the golden pelt, it'll save me. It might save me. Let's go ahead and take out a tooth real quick. Warning, by the way. Let's see what happens. Gives me, gives me a little bit of, little bit of benefit there, but it's have six damage. Oh my god, it just evolved. <sighs> Crap. Crap. This is, this is, this is a bullshit. Yes, I'm an underwater wolf. I know. Um. And then I have nothing else to play. Okay, so if I take. No, that's not gonna help. Three, you lose one. All right, this is one of those desperate measures things. We take out the highest damage dealer here. 
do a little bit more damage ourselves. This rebalances us. Now we're even. Four and four. Now I'm six. So now let's get the these guys out. You have to, aha! Dang! Masterful! I know you guys all had it figured out. Here we go. Boom. Bloodhound. Skunk. And Adder. Ooh, Adder's a pretty sick. Cost two. Maybe we could buff him some later. Oh god, the sneaky poop. Hmm. <laughs> and a bloodhound. Let's go grab Adder. We can always take that sigil off and put it somewhere else if he wants. We use a lot of items. Let's go here. I believe we get to have like basically a hold or something. Let's grab this. Yeah, it's already get rid Oh, what is this? If you need necessary, you may cut up to one of my cards with these. Oh, hey, nice. That's pretty cool. Let's do that. That's rude. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see a squ emergency squirrel, another tooth, or some more bones. Let's go and grab emergency squirrel, and we are set. Nice little refill. It doesn't cost 180 bucks. Yeah. Give my one bone. Lay it all out. Let's see. Let's get that freaking mantis out there. It's ready to go. Let's see. Peek. Do do do. Ooh, that does damage back. Okay, so it's gonna die. It's gonna get like his three damage off, and then it's just gonna die. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. And it's gonna go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then it's gonna go bleh, <laughs> it's done. Hit over it. And we'll just play that game. <laughs> we just try, oh god. Oh, uh, never mind, never mind, that was a bad idea. That was a terrible idea. Shite. Let's play this and see if we got bones. Don't nope, bullfrog, son of a bitch. I got the fucking bones. Damn, I break this already? Let's do it. Let's break it, emergency. Boom. And then, put the bullfrog. Hmm. Here, so it doesn't kill itself. And then, and then, and then. We're good. That goes to two. It's gonna do four. Yep, it puts us on the cusp here. Please give me one with bones. Love you. Still not gonna help me though. Will it help me? If I put the gold pelt down, I can be saved. <laughs> also, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Okay, we'll, we'll talk later. <laughs> I can't take any of that damage though, but look, we have four damage going out. They have four damage coming in. We at least neutralize this. He moves forward, he does another damage there. I say, with his one damage now, we could soak that up. Let's go. Oh no, the submerge works against me. Oh, sure fucking did. Ah, oh, well, that's our one loss. We still have one more. Let's look up here and see what we have. So it looks like no matter which way we go, we're gonna have a good time. Let's go this way. We could try to sacrifice some cards. Love that. So let's see, we pick a card. Let's pick one that costs bones. The coyote. Four for that? Come on. Four bones. You know, I gotta kill so many things to get four bones. Jeez. Oh, it's not the campfire. Man, I got excited for a second. Uh, let's see, what can we take? Let's take the spread and give it two. I take the poison and give it two. The mantis god. <gasps> Yo. A three way. Like, I can't think of very many other things called three way that's better than that. Like, that's. This is gonna be a great card. This is, this is how we get to the end. Okay, we started with that word. Okay. And look at that already. Alright, and we. Oh, we can hide him behind the stump. That's even better. What is that eye sigil? There's that, touch of death, yeah. And then there's that, trifurcated strike. Yeah, but what is the ice? I guess it means it's mod or something. Hmm. Um, I got two bones already, that's what I like to see. Oh, it's gonna kill that in one shot. <laughs> I was gonna say I was gonna be blocked by it forever. Uh, oh god, it's gonna die to that. Ooh, that's annoying. Can I get something down really quick that's going to... No, I cannot. Let me see. Should we just like get spendy? Should I let him die? Because he's going to die the second he hits that, which means he's not going to hit that. Because he goes boom, boom, boom. The 
Let's do this. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> what a jerk. Uh, yeah, we'll put our... Oh, fuck. What was I going to put down for that, then? Damn. That's what it's to. There. Just so we can see. I just want to show you guys how that, how that works. Okay, we can put this here. That'll take care of that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. So much damage going out. That's, see, that's just clearing it. See, just clear it out. See you later. Moving on to the creepy eyes in the cave. I don't know what this one does. I have to see it. <laughs> I still don't remember what it does. Oh my god, this one. All right, so he gives you three different variables, and you have to come on, scissors. The trial of health. Three darn cards must have at least six health to combine to pass. And then this one here is trial of wisdom. Three darn cards must have at least three sigils on them to pass. The so three cards with three sigils. I have a bunch of cards I have, so you can review them here. I have a bunch of cards that has more than one sigil. So as long as I get one of these and something, so that's gonna take me down. That's gonna take me down. That's gonna take me down. Oh crap! Never mind. That's one, two, and three out of my eight here. Let's see one, three out of eight. Let's see six. Let me see. So you have to. This is where you play the numbers here, right? Two, one. How many cards do I get for that to get six? Let me see. Oh, I don't remember what it said. And then four. Okay, it's probably three cards, I'm guessing. So three, one. That's really high. Four damage. Four damage. It's also going to be a little tough unless I happen to score the wolf. And three cards. Yeah, because there's too many ones and some zeros. Ah, you know what? I'm going to say go with the sigil. There's only a couple cards that can screw me here. I got it. <laughs> you have passed. <laughs> the number of cards that benefit me was equal to the number of cards that could take me down, right? So it's kind of just like average even, I guess. I don't know. Um, Let me see. Raven Egg. So it puts up a barricade and it moves side to side. And this, what's the bunny do? Rabbit Hole. When a card burning sigil is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. Rabbit is fine as zero. Oh, okay, cool. And it's Elk Fawn. And I have a Great White that has, wow. Wow, that's a very powerful card. It's a very, very powerful card. It hits over everything and it does spread. That's an instant win card. I just have to be able to play it. Hmm. All right, totem time. Let's see what we got. We got three blood. Three blood, what's that do? Worthy sacrifice card, Benedict Sigil is counted as three blood rather than. <gasps> okay, so we can get this and put the wolf. No, no. Uh, we should get this and hold on to it. We'll just hold on to it. We can always come back and mix and match those. Yeah, we good. We good. Um, I'm still gonna use this though. I think you. I think you can. Oh, did she take that with her? Yeah, I'm sure it does. There's a campfire over there. Dang, man, we could have sacrificed car for no reason. Let's go ahead and get the bullfrog. I mean, she's not a whole lot of things to mix and match here. Although the bullfrog. Let me see. No. The alpha's been too good. Let's put the bullfrog on the stand and see if we could do anything with it. We could give that flying blocking ability to the coyote so it's not completely useless. Hey! Let's do it. Sacrifice. Excellent. Move on to the next. The miner. Mm-hmm. Where's that hound of mine? Ba -doom -ba -doom. This guy's a pain in the ass. He's a real pain in the ass. The trapper, though, I was there probably is the toughest boss. Okay, so a coyote and a pack mule. We want to kill that pack mule. It's got five health. It's going to move down and to the right. So as long as we keep this coyote busy, we could beat up on it if we do five damage. But it's going to move before we get there. So let's go ahead and put down, put down a start. This guy, the mantis god. And he could do one, one, one. Boom, boom, boom. Instant kill. But will it take? It'll take damage before that gets here, though, right? I think so. Play. Okay, it goes down. Hold on a second, I gotta remember the order here. Uh, let's see, boom, we do damage, and then moves down, and then it does damage. It'll kill it before it yeah, has a chance. Alright, yeah, 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 so we don't want to do that then. Let's move the Sparrow, or let's move the Mantis God here. There, that'll give it some plan how to kill it without being in the line of uh, fire there. We got two bones, let's go. Three of those. Yeah. Now that can't move until we move it. And we're gonna plot this guy here. And now it's gonna move. Yeah, which is great, because the next move, we're gonna take it out with this. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Fucking cub. <laughs> Damn it, we have no items. Can I afford this? Looks like I can. Alright, so alpha down. 
Uh, we will do two damage to that, some damage to that. We can take out that before it evolves. This, oh, that, that damage goes over. That's right. All right, so I think the pack wheel's probably gone now. There's golden meat cards. There we go. We're going to lose these cards to golden nuggets. Yeah, yeah, that's part of the second phase. Like I said, every boss has its own unique thing. Some of them are more annoying than others. Hey, look at this. It'd be great if I could turn those into things. Or if I had a thing over here, but I don't. Crap, now she's going to just wander around. Until this, he comes up and takes care of things. Get him. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Mm, we're going to have to... Oh, you got to be kidding me. I have, uh, until this guy moves. I'm not getting anywhere. He's just got free ram. Oh, my gosh. Um, Squirrel, but I can only put two down. He's going to take it out, like, immediately. One, three, four. I don't have enough of shit. This will absorb two hits. We sacrifice a pelt. It doesn't can't sacrifice for blood. Okay, we'll we'll take that out eventually. In the same turn, they'll take those two out. We get this down. We have the great white out. It could kill a lot of things at once. Um, we I mean we need that fucking thing so bad. See, so I have two squirrels. I'm ready for this next phase here. Just take this in case we get bones. We got a fucking stoke. Okay, squirrel. Squirrel. Great white. Bifurcated strike. Four. It'll take out two, two. It'll die in the next hit. Bifurcated. Four. Two, two. It'll die in the next. Four. Four. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna die. No matter what, right? Yeah. If I. Well, let's put it down. Oh, he's not going to be able to do shit to this, I don't think. Yeah, it goes right over his head. Holy fuck. Yeah, that's right. Duh. It's the killer. I forgot. Yeah, sorry. I'm freaking out a little bit. Your lives are restored. Wow, this is going to be a long episode. I love it. Let's fucking do it. <laughs> Let's fucking do it. I'm not mad. I like this part of the game. I didn't like the single player. <laughs> Ouroboros. Uh, let's see. This one, the card will repeatedly go back into your deck, which is sick. Um, we can take that off and put on something else later if we wanted to. Let's go and take that now. Uh, there are some single player things that don't necessarily uh, um, have the same function in multiplayer, just so you know. Or not multiplayer, uh, in the roguelike edition. Alright, let's see Beauty Falling Snow! Hey, hey, hey! Alright, if we get past this and we get to the end, I'm gonna be really excited. We have a campfire right there too. Let's see, let's take, let's take, let's take uh, Turkey Vulture 3-3. Three, three. Pronghorn. Oh, man. Yeah, it's gotta be this. It's gotta be that. I, we need the items, too, but I don't think that's gonna happen. We're gonna have to go with this. I want this. I wanted this to show you guys. Plus one. So, there's story there. It's really creepy. And I recommend it if you haven't. Uh, let's put this down. No, wait. I don't want to sacrifice a wolf, basically. I want to take something else and make it... Like more powerful or something. At least one man yeah, mantis got. Let's do this. One. Okay, yeah. So we could keep it there, but this is a risk. It's a fucking risk. Three, two, one. Yes. All right, we're done. I think actually, I think um, yeah. You only get two upgrades in single player. You could go until you lose the card. I think. But they wanted to tame that. Or in campaign. Sorry, it's just a campaign. Wolf, golden pelts. Let me see. What do we have coming down the chain? Raven eggs, alpha. Oh, this is gonna be messy in a minute. Um, me with no items. Me with no items. Here they come. Mm -hmm. And then they're gonna evolve and do a fuck ton more damage. Let's see. Wolf can take out the middle. That'll at least clear that up until their next turn. Oh, well, never mind. They get to attack after they evolve. Five damage. Oh, that kills me. Oh, it's one more. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. He's talking shit. Just ignore him. Oh, cool. Items right there. Um, So that's the guessing game. Let's go here. I don't believe we've done this one yet. 
Oh, pelts. Oh my god, did I keep my golden pelt? Oh my god, I survived. Look how dirty it is. No, it's <laughs> just the way it looks. Um, let's see, pack rat, a strange larva, and a mole man. Damn, mole man been pretty fucking good previous runs. Let me see, pack rat. Let's do mole man. It's cheap, beefy, and it moves around. Cost me one golden pelt. Now we get a bunch of items too. We're ready for this fight, man. I'm ready. Let's get, uh, there we go. Uh, skip his turn for this one. And then cut up a card or lift all my cards. Let's cut up a card. Yeah, 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 yeah. Encounter. One bone. Wolf. Wolf. Stoat. Vulture. Oh, yeah, no, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I have to deal with that tree in a minute. Oh, there you go. This mole's gonna move in my way. Next hit, blocking that raven from coming in. Perfect. Perfect. Just drop the wolf now. Just start doing like, start hammering. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna take that first hit though, which is not gonna kill this, which is gonna give me three damage. But I have four bones, so I put this here. It's gonna one-shot that. Yeah. Moves. Done. Now I just have to survive this five, right? Oh shit, I should have done that math. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the submerge. Oh man, that shit is such a great perk too. Hey, you know what though? We had to end this run, right? Oh, this is the part where he's like, oh, boogie boogie. Uh, it's, it is actually really creepy if you play this alone at night, just letting you know. So here you go, boss defeated, cards drawn, most scales in one turn. Uh, misplays, now the misplays, that's total, that's, that's not true. I don't know where they get those stats from, uh, but you can see here is my current stats. I have I have nine defeats. Yay! <laughs> Cards drawn. I got so close a couple of times, and you know, it just comes down to just I just didn't quite have the right deck. Uh, I've been very impressed with the amount of of uh, content that they've inputted the, or the way that they flesh this out, so you can uh, play. It. God dang, guys, really? <laughs> so you can play it uh, in this mode with no. Uh, but I thought even having playing the campaign at all. There's the challenges, see devlog, you can read this if you want to. Uh, there are probably videos or something on this guy. Oh no, I don't have him unlocked. Jeez, I don't have anything unlocked, man. Nine freaking runs? On the 10th run, I'll probably get something. The game is called Inscription. $19.99. Quite worth it for this mode. With the added bonus that you could go through and, and kind of piddle around in the campaign if you want. The campaign for some folks is going to be just like mind blowing, seriously. Um, for me, the problem with the campaign was that it just went on a little too long. <laughs> I just, it just wouldn't stop. <laughs> so, anyways, my name is Mike B. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys later. Bye.